Hey there fellows, Buddy Spike here. In this video is to test my frame rate with the new hardware after the recent update which was on 3rd of November. My specs are in the description and I'm going to have them on the screen as well. And the CPU that I'm running is i5 9th generation processor clocked at 4.3 GHz. The GPU that I'm running is GDX 1080 with 8 gigabytes of uh, VRAM. And the RAM that I'm running is 8 plus 8 gigabyte dual channel, uh, 2600 megahertz. And uh, I don't think the rest is actually necessary. So to record, I'm using NVIDIA's Shadow Play, and I believe this is a very good recorder. It does not lower your frame rate when you're recording. So I don't think this method will contaminate the results. For testing, what I will do is uh, set up different scenarios and see what frame rate I'm getting. So stay tuned for the video for some benchmarks. Alright fellows, first I'm going to show you my graphics settings, which I have kept it very simple. Uh, I have a uh, resolution at 1080 and I have kept it at high end and at high end whatever the settings are, I have not touched them. I'm just going to keep them throughout the test for all the scenarios. All right, we are here first at Lukla Airport, and uh, everything seems uh, above 30 frames. There is fluctuation. Okay, yeah, you see. Uh, well, let me take this in the air and see how the frame rate is. Uh, in the outside view, the frame rate is barely above 30, and uh, I'm gonna take it uh, a little bit high above and see how the frame rate affects. All right, so as soon as I'm in the air, uh, the frame rate has uh, improved a lot. Uh, now it just stays uh, all pretty much above 50, yeah, it even goes to 60. Uh, but this is a low populated area, and there's only vegetation and mountains. And the sky is pretty clear as well. Okay, for some reason, I'm having lag spikes because of 100% CPU. All right, it's back to normal. So yeah, I guess uh, in a non-populated area with a general aviation aircraft in open space, I could easily hit 60. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next scenario. Okay, we're at Istanbul. I've let the frame rate settle in, so right now I'm getting about 40 to 50 and when you zoom into the instruments once again the frame rate increases because it's showing less stuff and then when you zoom out back in the frame rate drops a little yeah so in the outside view i'm getting about 40s yeah this is which is good I, I'm, I'm okay with it by the way this is a uh, high-end graphics and now i'm going to have full throttle and and go in the air and see i'm going to go around the city and see how the how the frame rate is. Okay, this is I would say a medium dense area and uh, the weather seems clear. I'm just going to add some weather to see how the frame rate handles. Right now it's at 44 frames uh, with a few clouds it goes down to um, well 42 43 yeah and uh, let me increase the crowds a little more and we have almost almost no difference but but the but the visuals change so much and uh, let's Let's increase the weather a bit even more. Well, wait a second, let me check out storm. Oh, 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 okay. Now this is messed up weather. Okay, the weather changed and... Okay, it seems once the weather is loaded, you don't really have much effect on the frame rate, you see? My frame rate is still stable at 40s. Maybe just a two or three frame difference, yeah. There seems to be a small difference for such a big change in the weather. 
this looks this looks nice. So this is Istanbul. It's uh it's a it's quite quite populated city. Next I'm gonna move to uh even more dense uh area and see how it goes. Okay, now we are at Heathrow, London, and uh, in the cockpit, uh, this is a Beechcraft aircraft, twin engine aircraft, and uh, in the cockpit, uh, we are having frame rates in 30s and 40s, and um, yeah, this, this time around, the frame rate is lower than the last time, and from the outside, uh, oops, when you, when you move it a little fast, it kind of, Stutters, yeah. So, yeah, the frame rate is around 30 to 40. Yeah, let's take it in the air and see what we got. So, you see, the frame rate does dip below even 30 at some points uh, when you look back at the airport. Alright, uh, Heathrow Tower, I mean, Heathrow Airport is quite, quite large. I guess that's why it's uh, taking up a lot of frame rate. I'm gonna go up in the air and grab some height and see how the frame rate is when you're looking down the city. Yeah, it seems that London, the frame rate uh, stays between 30 to 40 frames, even when the sky is clear. Let me let me get some weather up and see how the frame rate is affected. So now that I'm about uh, 10,000 feet up in the air, it seems the frame rate is very stable. It stays uh, above 50. Yeah, it looks very beautiful. So I could say like most of your flight, you can achieve a good frame rate. It's just that during takeoff and landing, you gotta bear around 30 to 40 frames with a little light spikes. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next scenario in New York. All right, people, we're an extra 330 light, and I've let the frame settle in, and this is JF Kennedy, and we're going to uh, New York and fly around some buildings and see how the frame rate uh, is. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, right now in the cockpit, we have about 30, actually less than 30, about 20 to 30 frames, which is which is not good. And in the outside, we have frame rate above 30, it seems. So I'm just going to take off from here and see how things go. Okay, as soon as I've uh, gained some altitude, the frame rate uh, is remaining above 30 FPS, which is okay, acceptable. This is New York after all. Let's go, let's go near those tall buildings and see what happens. Looking back at the airport actually reduces the frame to less than 30. So you see, there's, it's the airport that kind of eats up all your performance. Alright, we are approaching the city and the frame rate just stays between 20 and 30. What I'm gonna do is uh, keep flying around for a while to let the, the city load in properly and see what's the max frame rate I can get in this area. Hopefully I won't crash into the buildings. 
Okay, I've noticed that inside uh, the cockpit, the frame rate is way below uh, the outside. Yeah, there, is, there seems to be a significant difference. Seems the frame rate outside the cockpit is much, is uh, kind of remains above 30. Okay, in some areas it's just even dips below 20, which is kind of bad. Yeah, in this most dense area, the frame rate is just the worst. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, 13 frames, 10 frames. Let's say this, it is unplayable. Uh, flying like this. So, if you're in New York, just stay above like, like above 2,000 feet. Copy extra X -ray just do not fly like this. Nope, nope, nope. Let me gain some height and see how big is the difference. You see, as soon as I gain some height, the frame rate starts to go above 30 frames. Yeah. It's just that when you're in the city, that's when things aren't good. Frame rate is uh, like 45 to 50 frames. It's kind of okay. Right. So you're not actually meant to fly in the city, I guess. Yeah. The frame rate just goes below even 20 in the city. You gotta fly at least uh, 4,000 feet above the ground to have a uh, stable frame rate. Okay, I'm gonna go to the last scenario and show you guys like like the most heavy heavy lifting there could be. Alright guys, this is it. We are at New York with 747 and uh, if I could get like about 30 frames I'd actually be very happy. Uh, which I am getting right now, which I'm getting about 30 frames in the outside. Let's go in the cockpit and see how the situation is. Oops, there's a, there's a dip below 30 there. Okay, inside the cockpit the frame rate is about, oh my god, it's, it's like 20, 25 which is so not cool and then when you zoom in the frame rate increases a bit mm -hmm. and then when you zoom out it's it's, it's kind of like 20 or 25 yeah okay let's get it up in the air and see how situation is going full throttle and we are moving Okay, you see during takeoff we have like 22 frames with this zoom in and we have lift off landing gears up we have 20 frames yeah I'm gonna place flaps here so yeah there you go this is 747 for you it uh, JF Kennedy frame rate is just it's just uh, below 30 at all times yeah looking back at the airport we have like 20 frames let me let me increase altitude and see what happens Alright, at about 7,000 feet, the frame rate seems to be up 30, which is okay, acceptable. It's looking very nice. And the frame rate is above 30. I could go near the city, but uh, it's gonna be pointless anyway. 
type Boeing B748 six miles southwest of Lake Yeah. So okay, there are some frame rate drops there. Okay. So the frame rate does remain above 30 in, even in 747 uh, at about 10,000 feet. What about inside the cockpit? Yeah, the frame rate does drop to like 25 to 30 frames or maybe above 30 a little. And then if you need to uh, press press any buttons and switches, I think when you zoom in, it kind of does go above 30. By the way, in all the tests, I had multiplayer off because it has great effect on depending on the traffic. So if you're flying with about two or three buddies, I don't think there's going to be a significant difference in uh, the frame rate. It's just that when you're when you have all the players uh, online, when you have like everyone in the world at the at the same airport, then you're going to have frame rate drops definitely. So I turned that off to keep things uh, a little stable. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there you have it. This was the uh, last scenario. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, uh, this was uh, testing in quite a different situations and scenarios and uh, I would say normally if you're flying at cross country uh, you're gonna have 60 frames, I think you can achieve 60 frames easily uh, but if you're flying in the cities with uh, with a lot of uh, multiplayer uh, multiplayers and then you're gonna have frame rate trip. Inside the cockpit I've noticed a frame rate does drop about 5 frames and outside the frame rate feels a little better and uh, the weather does not seem to have much effect um, maybe max like three three frames three maximum four frames uh, which is which is kind of good thing you know overall um, I I have mixed feelings about the performance but I feel like in most of the scenarios uh, flying with some friends uh, along the countryside or uh, around the islands I think the frame rate is gonna be very stable I don't think uh, there'll be problem over there so I hope you enjoyed the video guys as always thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one buddy spike out